Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of Subtech, and I hope I get this right. Um, I had to redo this episode. I only got maybe 10, 20 minutes in because someone really weird with the game. It kept making me drop my items, saying that I didn't have access to them. Like mostly the steel and stuff, the age three stuff. But it kept saying I dropped an unfamiliar item, even though I in age three. But when I reloaded it, it seems to work now. So whatever. But anyways, first step. This cauldron or crucible is awesome, right? It melts down stuff. It, I chucked in a bunch of stuff and it melts down even armor and stuff that isn't fully repaired. Mob drops that are nearly broken will still give you stuff. And then I put the iron in here. I got something like 28, 27 from all the iron sets of armor I had lying around. And it's making me more steel, which is good. Um, But yeah, this crucible, it doesn't need to be fully repaired unlike the smelter. And then I went, um, big thing I think was the nether, and I got these things, and oh my god, were they hard. Um, they're rare, I would say at least as rare as emerald blocks in uh, vanilla Minecraft maybe. Um, they only spawn that I ever found in up to clusters of two blocks in one area. I don't know if they can go up to four, like diamonds sort of. Um, and then... They only spawn in the biome type hell. If you go to the soul sand areas and the mushroom forest and all that stuff, you can't get it. And unfortunately, the nether where my base is and that portal leads is pretty much solid nether rack blocks and then humongous cliffs leading into lava lakes. Not exactly the best areas to go searching for stuff. So I had to run around with this thing going spam all over the place, you know. But I got some, and that's with uh, Luck 3 on this thing now. I wasted all my modifiers to get Luck 3. But it was taking so long, and I still never got more than two clusters of crystals from one ore, but still, it took quite a bit. But now that I got that, and with... I already got them out, yeah. Uh, I can make the... Uh, Drawer controller. I had to make enough some more star metal ingots, which sucks, because I still don't have a uh, infuser. I don't know how I do that. So, this you know the starlight infuser, which is how you supposedly can make these out of just one iron ore, which I can get now because I have a silk touch pick. But I had to just make it the hard way. But um, controller. So this thing, I need all I need to make is the redstone engineering blocks in this trim. So this, oh, I don't know if I have enough redstone alloy plates. That sucks. Let's try this. Oh yeah, the vacuum tubes. Um, did I put everything? Yeah. And. I don't have any over there. Okay, whatever. Drawer controller, redstone. There we go. One block. Whatever, let us go through this thing. Yeah, I need more ally plates. I made six because I knew I needed four. I'm actually going to need more than this because I need. Okay, I put a bunch of copper in here. I think it made more redstone alloy. I can find anything. Molten redstone. Hmm. So my copper. Ah, oh, there we go. Redstone alloy. I wonder what I'm short of that not all this is. Got Constantine. Oh, I'm probably out of glowstone in here. Yeah. It's the glowstone that's holding me back. But that's more than enough for my needs. That's where I'm always doing this. So that's enough to build my second redstone block. I think that's all I need. this oh whatever 
we got two of those. We just need some trim. What? Sticks work. I know I have sticks. Eh. Whatever. And where's my sticks? Oh, wow. Did I accidentally? Yeah, I did. At some point or another, I picked the sticks up and then didn't put it back in. Okay. Where are we going? I really, I won't need this anymore once I fix this. Why is there paper here? There we go. Oak trim. How do I clear this? Okay, yeah, we'll just work with this. There we go. Interact with the bank of controllers. There we go, guys. We are advancing. Now, I'm going to have to figure out a good place to put this. But... Luckily, I don't have like an interface thingy majig like I did in the World of Dragons mod. Um, but we'll see how this works. But let's put it down. I mean, like I said, this isn't exactly where I want everything to be in the end. See, I can't pull everything out from this one location. But I can't put everything in. So let's say I got a bunch of gravel, a bunch of dirt, a bunch of whoops. I don't have these locked either. Huh. Oh, I can't put new things in there like clay. I didn't know it's so low on clay though. Yeah, sand, dirt, ice. And is it all done? Yes, it is. So that's awesome. I'm going to need a lot of these, though, for so many items. Because uh, chests are still nice in a way. But we got that. Oops. That was a required thing, huh? Craft advanced craft table. An airship, huh? That's a thing. So we've finished this. It's a dead end. We got the steel, which might be something I put on some of my armor pieces. I'm not sure. But let's make the ore excavator. Eh. Modifiers. There we go. Excavate modifier. Is that the right one? I think so. So. Ah. Mod Modularium. I think that's the thing I made on accident. And we need some steel. We got the platinum plate. We got the steel plate. We definitely have maize stone. I mean, well, we have steel. We don't have a steel plate just yet. In fact, instead of going through all that melting and stuff, let's just hammer it. Hmm. I was going to try to put that there so I wouldn't have to swap the hammer. That is so awesome still. It's funny when this is easier than using the furnace. Okay, so we got that. And then we just need modularium or whatever this is. 
if we can have it. We've dumped pretty much everything we own. There we go. I'm not sure what this is really good for, but we'll make it. Okay, we got that. Octane and the Simmerite. Two rock crystals that are over here, I believe. Yeah. Luckily, the purity of the crystals don't matter. Oops. These things, luckily, are really unused mostly. Okay. So, we are getting there. We are finally getting there. Oh, the maze stone. And I might need another platinum plate. No, I got one on me. Any maze stone. Um, I can find where it is. Naga stone. Did I not put it in here? Hmm. There's no way I'm out of maze stone. Oh, I know. I had to use it to build the celestial thing. No, oh, I thought I put it in here afterwards. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I made a uh, tiny little cobblestone generator here. Because... I was trying to think about upgrading my pick, but it's kind of slow. But luckily I got the blood wood behind there, which is a really hard wood, like even with an ax, so it doesn't get destroyed. But this is pretty slow, but I just did that because I was like 100 off for upgrading my pickaxe, and I kind of wanted it, but I figured I'll screw it. I'll just go to the nether and get some more netherrack. Plus, I didn't have a cobblestone generator. Not that I'm, you know, exactly needing cobblestone, but... Okay, so... What was I looking for? Oh, the maze stone, yeah. Um, here's the Twilight Force box, but it's not in there. Pretty weird. Like, where did all my maze stone go? I had tons of it because of the creepers blowing up. I didn't have so many monolith stones. Then I needed it really bad. There we go, maze stone border. Actually, what's this? Whatever. We'll take... Oh, my inventory is really, really full again. Oops. Okay, here we go. Excavator modifier. Oh, that's an advancement. I didn't even see it on my tree. Use the ore es excavation modifier item to add an excavation ability to your tinker's tool. You can also use an excavation enchantment to non-tinker's tools using the enchantment tool. See, I have seen that on some uh, in the like the building thing when I was looking up resources. So, we need to get this 100 points real quick and then we can end the episode. That stuff not being loud is weird. Huh. But I do like my little window. Yeah, I'll show you guys. I, I went quite a while in a big circle. Basically just spamming the tool. Woo. So, I mean, as you look, this is my nether portal. And I can't 
even tell where the other one was. But um, there is another one over here in another fortress I ran across. And there's another another fortress here. But I don't think this is the one I was in before. I'm not sure though. I didn't really get close to it. It just mapped it out. But as you can see, like I saw before, it's basically just um, wholly empty areas and then lava pits. Not exactly easy areas to. Uh, hope that does not mean it has 25 uses. That'd suck. I did get some of these bloodwood leaves to make things. But as you can see, like, it's not exactly easy to find anything here. And despite being really small areas, it still has a lot of spawns. In fact, um, let me get back up here. Or is it over here? Yeah, it's right here, I think. No. Oh, at one point, I just got into a wall and dug straight out to see if I could find anything. Eh. A little silverfish. And we'll get some useful nether quartz but yeah I was just doing that and I'm just gonna get some easy levels funny how this is still seems slow it has haste one and it's way over mining level for netherrack but it seems slow um 30 some blocks to go. Get up here, I guess. Oh. This should be soon. There we go. It's funny that I'm only barely above clumsy now. I thought I've had this forever. And it's taken this long to level up my tools. I think I just take 2,000 blocks to level up without vein miner or anything like that. So now I have, should have a modifier. Hopefully it doesn't take two or something silly like that. Let's see here. Okay. We have max luck. My haste and all that's not max, but I only it takes a modifier for every level. So come on. Twenty five of twenty five. I don't know what that means. Is that twenty five blocks? 25 uses, but we'll see. Now, I really should just go back into the nether. But I'm not really sure if I want to. But I guess I will, because otherwise I'll make a huge mess of my base. Oops. This would have helped too with finding the amethyst, clearing out all the netherrack without having to worry about accidentally hitting amethyst. Okay. What? Oh. Lots of plan. I was like, what is that? Okay, let's try this. Alright, it worked. That is so awesome. And my inventory is full, of course it is. Okay, so the durability did not get too hit. Um, 
Where is the durability? Only lost about 200. Um, do the control thing. Oh, I gotta go back to the tool table because it doesn't show me that 25 or 25 thing, so I don't know what that means. I think that might mean 25 blocks because it seemed to be about that size. Because I know, you know, it didn't obviously keep going forever. Although this nether isn't like vanilla nether, vanilla nether. Because there's netherrack, there's glowy or shadowed netherrack, uh, fiery netherrack. All these different types of netherrack. So let's see what this has to say for itself. Um, come down. 25, 25. Okay, so I guess that's just the scale of it. I could possibly put another one on and it'd go higher maybe I'll, I'll have to look at it later i definitely want to get one for an axe but yeah guys i think this will be the end of this episode we we got our drawer controller um we got our freaking ore excavator thing going which is awesome and uh, we learned that the crucible can melt everything down even though it's not fully repaired and uh we got a lot of reorganizing to do um get this drawer controller working I want to have it attached to the crafting station if I can so therefore my crafting station will have access to just about everything it's gonna take a lot of these control drawers though and I'm gonna have to make a drawer controller key uh, let's see if we can make one together right now because I want to lock these um, let's see here gateway key Okay, that's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, that's an oblivion thing that takes all those steps. I could actually probably make that. It just take a million rituals. Um, flower, drawer key locks and unlocks drawers. Yes. Concealment show or hide items. No other players. No quantity, and then the tower key. So the drawer key is gold nuggets, gold, and an upgrade template. And that is just drawer trim. Okay, we can do this. We can do this real quick. I just need to go down here to get both gold and some gold nuggets. That's actually nice that it gives me nuggets automatically because it gives you fractions of the items you put in. Uh, drawer key there we go upgrade template which is something I never used yet I've never upgraded in my drawers I just built more drawers oops no no we want that one we want the drawer key there we go we got a drawer key guys we can lock things and I guess if it's in your hand When you place them down, it'll be locked automatically. But, uh, oops. Let's switch that up. So, yeah, guys. Huh. I guess, okay, yeah, I was like, I thought I'd lock each door separately, but no, it's just the whole thing. But, yeah, that's awesome, guys. I wonder if does that mean I can break this? Ooh, that'd make a big mess. Let's uh This one's only got two well trying to find one. The clay one doesn't have a lot. Hmm. I was gonna find one that didn't have a lot in it. Here we go. Now we'll just do the dirt one. So we're gonna lock this. And break this. Can we not break this? There we go. And did we lose? Yes. We, uh, 
all the dirt spilled out. I was hoping it would keep the items, but apparently that's not the case. So it did not lock this. Maybe it wasn't it because this was in my offhand. Let's try that again. Okay, get rid of the dirt. Okay, so it's locked to start with. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, guys. So we have a drawer key, we have a drawers, we have the drawer controller, and now I just gotta completely reorganize my inventory to make use of it. But yeah, guys, this is just a guy signing off. Catch you later, guys. Bye.